What? They're late. Of course, of course. Dweller, your brothers, they haven't returned from the sea. They have all the time in the world. And what does that mean? They can stay there as long as they wish to. There was a strong girl this afternoon. So? They are my children. What about me, father? What about me? I didn't mean to imply anything. No fish. My boys haven't returned. What's the matter with you people? I have not come to buy fish. <laughs> you have come a long way. As you can see, yes. Oh, then maybe you can quit your impudence and tell me what you want. Are you Sumako? Yes. The fisherman? Now listen, lad. I have no time for a dull talk. Can't you see I'm busy? You haven't brought bad news about them. Have you? Tell me quickly. I don't know what you are talking about. My sons, what happened to them? I am a stranger on this part, and I was told you could help me. That is why I came. Oh, I see. <laughs> so there is nothing. No news. And what is this about your sons anyway? Forget. It's nothing. Now, what do you want? Uh, are you Sumako the fisherman? I said that before, didn't I? You were going on about your boys, so I didn't hear it. I am Sumako. Everybody knows that. But I don't go to sea anymore. Too old. Understand? My sons do. They are at the sea this very moment. I expect them any moment from now. Oh, good. <clears throat> What's that? Do you know them? No, but I guess they will do me with some help. Are you a fisherman then? No. No? That is why I am here. I want to become one, a good one, and I don't mind serving an apprenticeship. A rather peculiar way of asking for a job. Wouldn't you say, imagine from your crude behavior that you don't know a better approach? I am not used to begging, so make up your mind. Pity! Whoever brought you up must be ashamed of himself. My mother did. Well, go back to her and ask her to start all over again. Understand? Go back! She's dead. Oh, I see. Don't you feel sorry for me? Because I'm glad she's off my back. <laughs> I don't indulge in a sentimentality. It's a luxury I can't afford. Oh, good. Then, I think we can get on fine. Say you got some water to drink? In that thing over there, help yourself. What about your father? Do you know? What? Never saw him. And I don't mind telling you I was born a bastard. But mind you, I didn't grow up in poverty. On the contrary, my cradle was lined with milk and velvet. My mother provided for me. I had everything I wanted. Even in my small world, with everything in it, except a father. I was to believe that my father was some kind of a hero who died trying to fight for some good cause. What cause? No cause, because there wasn't one. I was only made to believe that. It worked for me for some time until I began to ask myself the same question, what cause? There was no answer because there was no man. My mother didn't even know whom the man was. How could she? There were many. There was a commodity on the market. She got paid, of course. She had to leave. She was probably forced into it. The life you people lead in the city. Your mother must have been a very sad woman. A strong woman. 
A strong and revengeful woman. She made all men paid for their insult. There was only one woman who once did that. She raised an empire from the little room and made men slave for her. Glad she is no more. Did they call her Madame Imbele? That's right, Madame Imbele. But she is dead now. She had a son, did you know that? So I hear, little bastard. If I see him, I will put rope around his neck and hang him in my backyard. Why don't you do so now? I am her son. Joshua! Yes, the son of a famous mother. Do you want to see my mother's mask? I carry it everywhere I go. See, it makes you shiver. Makes your blood run cold. It makes you nervous. <laughs> makes your feet wobble. Doesn't it? Go away. Don't come among us. Don't come near us. We are only peasant. We don't want to have anything to do with you. But I am perfectly harmless, Sumako. You wanted to hang me a minute ago. Now you are scared. Don't be afraid, Sumako. I am even harmless. You have your mother's empire. You have your mother's power. I tell you, there is nothing. I couldn't manage the estate. I sold the whole lot at a cutthroat price and spent the money with my friends. Your mother kept the little rooms. What happened to the girls? I let them go, with handsome bonuses of course, to find better jobs in the mines. So you see, there is nothing left. Now, I have come to make amends to all the peasants here. They suffered the plant of my mother's route the most. How are you going to do that? <laughs> I wonder. Simple. By just living amongst you and giving you inspirations. This is a bluff. If ever you saw one, you have come running to this place because your mother's empire crumbled to the ground. Fox in the city makes life too hot for you. You have come running to us peasants. And what do you hope to find? Peace, refuge, or another empire? Something worth more than all the three. The third end of a rope. <clears throat> Do you know what that is? I shall find out. You are looking for the impossible. Even your famous mother wouldn't dare dream of it. Of course, you are only bluffing. Oh my God. <clears throat> what is that? Oh, it's only my wife. She's always screaming like that. Take no notice. What is wrong with her? Oh, she's a sick woman. She hurts like an animal whenever she's in pain or something. She brought forth all my children. Three strong boys and a daughter. <coughs> Didn't you meet her on the way? No. Of course not. She went that way. She just like her mother. Pretty <laughs> large person. <laughs> but now she's weeded out like a smoked salmon. Now she belongs to the past. Something you forced in the city would like to put in a museum. She belongs to the days gone by. And you, where do you belong? You see, the big ocean. We have always belonged to it. My ancestors came from the sea. That cannot be true, and you know it. Of course, it's only an doctor. There is no truth in that. But people on the mountain at that time knew no better. They thought my ancestors simply emerged from the sea. Ha! At first, they were treated like gods. Eventually, they found out that my ancestors weren't gods after all. They possibly couldn't have emerged from the sea. That was when they started fighting for existence. They still do. Oh my God! She's screaming again. She always does that. You would think she was an animal. Had you not better gone to find out what she wants? I can't stand cries of human agony. But my dear boy, hers is a mental agony. She doesn't mind, so why should I bother you? You don't even see her. I don't have to see her. I can hear her cries for help, and that is enough. They will amuse my mother, but not me. So at long last, humanity has reached the metropolis. <laughs> I cannot believe it. I shall not believe it. Did 
you hear that? A voice from the past. Now she is calling my name. Oh dear. See, if you can find any hole that need mending. Ah, but the entire net is made of holes. Come, come, lad. Everybody know that. Now get it with. No, he just went to the house. Mother has been screaming at me, I suppose. You can take up the lift for me. Who are you? I saw you coming down the hill. Uh, pity, I didn't even see you. My name is Joshua. Joshua, that's foreign name. It's English. Oh, it's, an, it's a Christian name from the Bible. It's so foreign. My name is Duala. It's a peasant name. A peasant name and a pleasant woman. I like both. Now, don't you come here saying things like that to me. I carry something you must avoid. I have got the demon. Didn't Simako tell you? He only said he has a daughter with a large bosom and who resembles her mother. But he didn't say you were such a pretty girl. I warn you. I am warning you. Did you bring that? Oh yes, it's my only identity. But Sumako doesn't like it, so I need to put it off. Is that why you are here? For breath of fresh air? I am only a traveler with a huge mask. And I'm also a tram. You could have fooled me, but you don't sound like one. My brother speaks beggar. Who is a beggar? He is. He calls himself a vagabond and God knows what. What? You feel sorry for yourself already? No. My ego wouldn't let me. I like talking about myself because I'm a living museum. I have broken all the rules and ethics of life and I've survived the odds. I was born a bastard, but fell on the milk from a cougar. A great mother held me in her arm. Now tell me, doesn't this make me a living museum? <laughs> what are you searching for? Oh, a lot of things. But my goal is the third end. Father, what is the third end? Oh, it's the third end of a rope. The story of a legend hunter. You've got your characters messed up. A prince he was, a legitimate prince, not a hunter. Now, go on. All right, so he was a prince. This prince fellow thought he has conquered all the sundry till one day. His mistress asked him to find the third end of a rope. It was a romantic joke, but then this hunter, uh, this prince, fellow took it seriously. Did he find it? No. He set out with his army one morning in the search of it, and that was the last anyone saw of him. Oh. Or his army. I was set off to where he left off, so that one day when the story is told, it will be complete. Why don't you go back where you belong? Go back to the hills. Go back to the city. We present here are simple-minded. We don't go about looking for the impossible. We don't let our imaginations run with us. We are not learned. We don't kill dragons. Our faith is simple and naive. We worship the sea and do it by them. You probably despise me for saying that. As a matter of fact, I do. You are just a contemptuous upstart. You! Oh, Father, isn't that a horrid thing to say to a stranger? I've isn't set your mind against me already. Why? He wouldn't hurt a fly. Why? Let him stay if he wants to. Oh, Mother! You surprised me, Sumako. <laughs> I have to make sure she doesn't object your stay. <laughs> I, I can see some peasant women coming down the hill. I know. I hear them. Who are they? They are peasant women. I didn't mean to be offensive. They are fishmongers. They will be here in a minute. Notice their behavior towards me. They will fuss about me. Pour oil into my ears and call me a nice name. And do you know why? They want to pay less money for the fish they buy. That's how fake they can be. They are all counterfeit. They don't even stop to think I can see through it all. They are underestimate my intelligence. When hair is full of cream, like mine, they think you have no brain left in your skull. To them, I am just a silly old fool. 
and that's what they learned from people like you. As far as I'm concerned, they think like the fish they handle. Hey, 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 listen, pigs. My boys haven't returned from the sea. There is no fish. Oh, the good man, Smakwa. His boys know no harm. Has always been that way. So this very day. There was a strong girl this afternoon. Oh, the good man, Smakwa. Oh, she does as well. Has always been that way. So this very day. I'm not making any promises. The good man, Smakwa. He has a heart. He never was. Has always been that way. This very day. As if you ever give me a thought. Oh, the good man smart call. Oh. Whom we dream of each night mm -hmm. has always been that way. So this very day. <laughs> me in your dream with this gray hair. <laughs> the good man smart call. Yeah. He looks so strong. He stays so long. It has always been that way. So this very day. Oh, you see what I mean? They don't respect my intelligence. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <coughs> Name of Joshua from the city. <coughs> oh, I know, I know, I know. Here they come. I saw them fed. Not so fast, not so fast. Remember not to harass them. Remember they are tired. Remember they are my children. And you, Joshua. Raise the net before drying it. Where is the fish? Not so fast, not so fast. Uh, where is the basket? The fool will bring it. You see, they are very tired. I'm buying half of the water. What are we paying with? Because fight if you like, I've been made a promise. Eh? So have I. Pigs! There's no fish, go away. I'm going to be carrying this blasted basket for all day. I told you, did it I? They say it has gone dry. Now, start moving. Not to the house. What's wrong with the public house? Pigs. Can't walk through people's house like marketplace. Pigs. Very good. What happened? Like my brother Bengo said, you see, it's gone by no fish. Now, don't you give me that, you fool. Ziggy, tell me. Oh, it's just one of those bad days. Rough sea, rough tempers. No catch. This is supposed to be the best year. Remember this time last year, Father? The whole village was bursting with stinky fish. But now, not one little fish. When the days isn't right, all the fish take their flight. Have you heard that song before? No, I don't suppose you would. <laughs> take no notice. He's always like that, making a tune of everything. Like Brother Benko said, if only Brother Zingo sneezing on the boat, bringing bad luck to us. What is he talking about? I told you everything that girl touches turns into clay. She goes near the boat and the sea turns dry. Atu, Atu, are you seeing my phone? No. Oh, damn. Ziggy. Come with Joshua. He has come from the city to join your boys. This is Ziggy. Big brother, big cook is in the house. Hello to you, and I can't wait. I'm a Are you staying here with us? It's all right to do. My brother, big is not going to laugh. Who asks for your opinion? Who gives orders here? You boys are going to do what? As I tell you. Understand? I'm not complaining. You try and knock some sense into them. What is it today? As if you own the boat. You try talking some sense into that head of his. If you talk like that behind my back again, I'll give you something you won't like. I said nothing, Brother Benko. I swear to that. The Lord tells me you've got somebody to help us. 
That's right. Name of Joshua come from the city. I'm not asking you. Yes, we need help. That is for me to decide. Brother Bento, it almost breaks my heart to hear you speak like that in my presence. You hardly know me. You don't even know who I am. But I will forgive you. Sumako tells me that you are easily upset. You are easily raged and moved like a volcano. But I think we can come into some agreement. What do you say to that, big brother Mary? You start calling me names and I'll break your neck and feed the height to the dogs. Such an absolute profanity. Choo -choo 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 -choo. This is worse than I could imagine. Someone told me that you folks speak with eloquence, but he never mentioned anything like peace and vulgarity. Subako, do you know that he came all the way here, this friend of mine, for a holiday? He said he came to look at the sea for inspiration. But don't you believe it? He was a liar. They all tell lies. Actually, he had a consumption and the doctor said he has to go to the sea for some fresh air. He is dead now. The doctors couldn't save him. He is mad. Listen to how he talks. He is demented. How can we be in the same boat with such a person? How can he live with us? He's dangerous. I tell you, he's a madman. That's true. Shut up, you fool. He stayed because I say so. I'm not going to make a sermon. You boys are something. You better listen. Where? Where is he? In the house. You see what I mean? The speed fire and the slightest provocation. You know what's good for you? Get the hell out of here! But you hardly know me. I'm allowed to kill you if I knew more about you. <laughs> that is very funny. You know, your father said the same thing. Now, this is all blasphemy. My mother will be very cross to hear you say things like this to me. But don't worry, I shall talk to your father about it. much of a woman to me. In this village, in this family, we need proof. We don't just jump into hasty conclusions. Sometimes you do. Only when strangers are concerned. Benko will tell you that if you ask him nicely. I think I will. I'm sure we can be friends. Don't count on it. That will take some doing. Have you had your meal? Yes, thank you. I like the mushrooms. They are wild mushrooms. We don't get them very often. Sometimes they serve for fish. The food was good. I must congratulate you on that. You cook exactly like my mother. Your mother must be an interesting woman. You must tell me about her sometimes. I am not allowed to. Sumako forbids it. Now, I think I'll take a walk on the beach. I'll favor a dip in the ocean, but I can't swim. If you wait for me, I shall clear the things and come with you. What do you say to that, huh? I will say, wonderful. Then good, I will wait for a second. Slot. Choo -choo 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 such vulgarity is unbecoming. We don't say such words to a woman. They are not complimentary. If you want what is good for you, you must look in a pixie. That's where you belong to. Pixie! My mother will be very cross to hear you say things like that. I know of a man who was overheard, corrupting public decency with such profanity. He was sent to serve at Madame Mbele's palace. Of course, he was castrated, and all the servants too. You and your kinds are pigs! You are all stuck raving mad. They all say that. If only they knew what mission I have to accomplish. A mission? What mission? The impossible. Mother said to find the third end.
Did you see them? <sighs> Damn it! Fool! I sent you, didn't I? Oh, yes, yes. Where did you find them? I did not find them. Damn it! How can you tell me this then? Sorry, we must be at cross purposes. What I meant was that you sent me, but I did not see them. Oh, what's the use? Never mind. They will turn up sooner or later. For all I know, they might be lying at the bottom of the sea. If they get themselves drawn, their bodies will be washed ashore by the morning. They will make food for the trouts. Trouts don't live in the sea. Stop it! For the little copies then. Will you stop that Gabriel and get me my pot? Yes! They never learn. They will make food for the trout. The whole confounded lot of them. They want roses. I keep telling them. Roses don't grow in the ocean. Only seaweeds. And they are not used to anyone. Not even the animals. They won't eat seaweed. They won't touch them. I keep telling them. But they won't listen. They are all deaf. They are stubborn. Where the devil is? Atu! Here you are. There is no need shouting. Where the devil is? Atu. He's gone to the other village. Why didn't you stop him? He will come drunk as usual. I sent him anything you want. I don't like drinking from that confounding tank. Nothing tastes good in it. Where is my gold? It is broken. It's only a calabash. It breaks. Quiet! Quiet! It breaks like all other things. I am glad that came from you. Just you remember that everything is like a calabash. It has to break sometimes. Have a sip. No. Don't you ever stop. You always go on like this. I wonder how you do it. You smother yourself. Benku, you choke yourself. You bend inside yourself like fire. There is a knife in your heart. Benku. Then if you don't let someone take it out, you are going to bleed yourself to death. And who is going to weep over me? You? Oh, come on, son. You try putting yourself in my place. Father, just try doing that. It was an accident. It could have happened to anyone. It had to be me. It had to be Benko, the firstborn. Did I have to sacrifice that much as the firstborn? Your mother sacrificed more than that. She lost her strength and sanity. She got paralyzed. When Tuella was born. At least she accomplished something. She left her footmark. She bought all your children. Four children are not in now, but I have to make two. I couldn't afford another wife. That in itself is a sacrifice. We all have to pay our due. Sometimes or another is paying her share. She will never take the pressure of woman. That is a great sacrifice. A woman should be made to pay. She must be suffering. For how long, I wonder? You know where she is this very minute? With a stranger. With your Joshua. He won't touch her. I want him. Not him. He is too decadent to pay heed. He doesn't believe in anything. He thinks this all primitive nonsense. He goes about calling himself Joshua. Like he was a Christian. Like he believes in something. His mother was not a Christian. But that's not the point. I have done my pay. I want him. If he pays no heal and violate Duela, he will have himself to pay. Sumako! Sumako! Oh damn! That woman, did she ever speak? See what she wants. She called your name, not mine. She's your mother, Benko. She's your wife. Sumako. Sumako. All right, if you say so. What was all that about? I thought you would never get up. I've been standing there for some time. Did you get it? Yes, yes. Give it here. Yes, brother Benko. The man says you won't have long to wait. How long? Brother Benko, I had to add my own money. I said how long? Fool! Seven days, only seven days. 
Now, when that be wonderful, only seven days, and you gain all that you lost in the accident on one condition. What's that? You should see to it that no man touches Joanna, that she remains a fire bat till the seven days, at least until the seventh day. He also said that that Joanna demon will be cast away, and she can even have a man without any harm. You didn't want to see you? I don't think so. You didn't go drinking? No, I swear to that. Idiot! Only one drop, brother Benko. I swear to that. And no one saw me, that's true. You keep this to yourself like you know nothing. Understand? Yes, yes. Not one way. Seven days? Have they turned up Dweller and Herman? Herman? If you call him that again, I will break your neck. Understand? Oh. Oh, good. You are back. You didn't go drinking. No, I swear to that. Then you can go and sit beside your mother. She's getting worse. Yes, father. Your mother have had one of her feet. She won't last long, poor girl. She have lived longer than as I expected. Hey, obstinance. Could you believe it? When the time comes, I shall raise no finger in protest. You boys must be proud of that woman. She was pretty one. Some real milk. Like some real milk. You would think they cracked her from a pearl or something. You are not listening. Hey. Benko, I'm talking to you. You see, it's calm. Are you going to see tomorrow? Yes, tomorrow. The sea is calm. She will better go to bed now. It's late. No, father, I want to talk. Go right ahead, sir. Father, what is the third end? The ten end of a rope. There is no certain, my boy. It's only a proverb. The curious mind find the ten end. You haven't heard that before? No. It's only to discourage force from prying into the realms of the unknown, trying to find the impossible. Is it there some kind of a legend about that? Legends are better left alone. Prying into their authenticity makes the gods angry. Joshua wants to find out. He says he's here on a mission. Ah, so he has been talking to you. Oh, <laughs> he's only a fool. He lives on his imagination. One day, he will tell you he has left a pair of his wings on those coconut trees. He's a rather confused young man. He thinks his life is expendable. I hope his staying here makes him a better man. All he needs is a bit of fresh air. Let's not refuse him that. The way Dweller has taken to him, I'm afraid. I fear for his safety. Come on, come on, lad. You know you don't care a hoot about him. I really do. Now, that is a lie. Benko. You are up to something. You have been a belly all your life. That is bad enough. But to start cheating as well is carrying the damn thing beyond bounds. Mind you, a little dishonesty here and there doesn't hurt anybody much. But cheating yourself or anybody else to this extent is ostracious, almost sadistic. I know your mother is lying there dying. And I don't go flattering myself to the contrary. I know she won't last long, and that's no lie. <clears throat> if Joshua is harnessed about his mission, then he may find a third end, and may the gods grant him speed. So there is a third end after all. Yes, there is. And you don't go looking for it. 
at the bottom of the sea because it is with you all the time. I hope Joshua finds it. If he does, may the devil help him. <laughs> Oh my God. <laughs> Bella, there is sun on your head. Yes, Benko. They are plenty more at the beach. And that's where I have been. You must have been walking on your head, sister. To get sun on your head. No, brother. I only lay on my back. That's why I've got sun on my head. No one taught me how to sleep with my head hanging in the air like the night bed. Who sleeps with his feet hanging from a tree top? No. I'm not such animal. I'm only human and woman. So you see, I just lay on my back. Dwella. Yes, father. Joshua made me a woman. And what's more, he's going to live every minute of his life and maybe say his child born. And maybe another, and another, and another, and yet another. And they will grow up like everyone else and they are going to run around our own backyard and play together and laugh together and be together. But one more thing, they will not live among peasants like you and you. Dwella. And what do you think you are? You are just a peasant woman. Oh yes, but not for long. I'm going to... Calm down, Dwella, please, calm down. Let me tell them, they have not stopped accusing me, saying, I was born, I have got this, I have got that, I'm responsible for this, I'm to be blamed for that. They have made me pay for my mother's condition. They tell everybody I have got the demon. And who started it all? Him. That smooth. That scam. Now, don't you start calling me names. You earn it, brother Benko. Stop it, Benko. That will be enough. Now you go to bed. I shall talk to you in the morning. He will pay for this. I swear it. Hey, Benko. Come back. Let's forget ever happened. Go on. Shake hands. Hey, mama. Father, all this had to end sometime. It could not go on forever. I couldn't bear it any longer. I have always known that I have no cats on my head. That there is nothing like Susun Bonne. That it's all made up. I have proved it. Joshua has made me prove. And what's more, he has made me happy. Happier than every woman has ever known. I feel like a new flower blooming in the sunlight. I feel as if I want to run. Run the village shouting. This is Duella the new flower, a complete woman, the new spirit. But I shall not do that. The peasants will not understand. They will think I'm mad. They will say Dwella has gone round the village. Let's take her to the madhouse. I don't want them to take me to the madhouse. So I will only be calm and enjoy my fulfillment. I'm happy for you, Chad. You see, what did I tell you? I see I didn't know my own father. Father, Joshua thought you would throw him away the minute we arrived. Why should I? I made him a promise and I'm not backing out of it. He can stay here as one of you and as long as he wishes. In my house, there is room for everyone. I hold you on that, Sumako. My mother will be watching her son. If you cheat, she'll be very cross. For a lifetime, father. For a lifetime. I will stake my life on that. I am here to meet the gambler with a head on his shoulder. He stick so much and win so little. May sanity reach them. Show me the world that knows no gambling. Show me the man who takes no risk with its steps in his game. And I shall withdraw my stakes. A new life for Sumako's family, whatever cost. And may the devil help me. Well spoken, Joshua. I echo your prayer. May no. the devil help you. Joshua, the boys will be going to the sea tomorrow. So if you want to join them, I suggest you retire to bed early. Unless, of course, you want to rest for a few days. I'll be going with them tomorrow. The sea will be calm. I am not afraid. Good night. Listen, 
What? Talk of the devil. Who is that? Why? That's Ziki. Don't you hear his guitar? You mark my words. You will be chippy and full of tales. Come on, Ziki. Don't just stand there. Come and tell me all about your woman. There is nothing to talk about tonight. My head spins. You are in a bad mood tonight. You sound morbid. What's the matter, brother? My head, it spins. Everything takes like salt to my dweller. What happened? It is my woman, my woman. She sacked you? No, Don't... she's dead. My woman is gone. Gone dead. No! Yes, they are crying in a small village. Soon they will put her in the ground. There is a small village far beyond the lake. Need I tell you more? Need I tell you that? They put her in the ground. They put her in the ground. Mm, in the ground. Yes, in the ground. In the village. Beyond the lake. I love that woman. She loved just one man. Need I tell you more? Need I tell you more? They put her in the ground, in the ground, yes, in the ground, in the village, beyond the place. If you ever meet a song in the wilderness, tune to music, please, do not pass by. It belongs to my brother. How did it happen? What was wrong with her? She took some food to her brothers in the field. They looked after sheep there, so she takes them their meal each day. Today, when she got there, one small lamb got frightened and fled into the bush. I don't know why the lamb got scared of her, but he ran into the bush. So they all went after it. My woman too, that was where she got bitten by a snake. They caught the lamb as my woman lay there. Snake venom in her veins. Long, long will she sleep in the air, down deep. Need I tell you more? Need I tell you that? They put her in the ground. They put her in the ground. Mm, in the ground. Yes, in the ground. In the village. Beyond the lake. Can't you hear my song? I will cry so long. Need I tell you more? Need I tell you that? They put her in the ground. They put her in the ground. Mm, in the ground. Yes, in the ground. In the village. Beyond. I do weep for you, Ziki. I know what that woman meant to you. Do not weep for me, Dweller. I must not weep for myself. I have been in their village and no one is crying. I have seen her fox and all their eyes are drying. They say it was inevitable. They say it was a fulfillment. They say the God's will is so. What can I say? This is a lot of hocus pocus. Is that what they call it on the hills? Is that what they call it in the city? What do you know about those things? Ziki, he knows a lot about our lives. He knows these are all lavish paganism. This is just an accident. You talk like that, Dweller? My own sister saying things like that to me? My woman is lying down there and you call it lavish paganism? You talk like him. Very soon you are going to run after him and do things and bring stress to this family. You let him influence you and everybody is going to be sad like me. He will make us happy, Ziki. Make you forget your woman ever live and put a grin on your face again. Dweller, your talking is strange. Never heard you say things like this before. The voice is new. It belongs to someone who has found a new happiness. Brother Joshua has made me happy. He made me a woman. 
What? You heard what she said. She's no more a flower bird. Dwella, you did that? You killed my woman? You know you are not supposed to be violated. You know you have gotten the Susumboni on your head. It's not true. Joshua has proved that. Look at him. He's very much alive. He hasn't been destroyed. Is that not proof for the family? You all want proofs. You killed my woman. You both killed her. She was bitten by a snake. That was just an accident. It could have happened to anyone. It happened to her. She's lying down dead. And you say it's just an accident. Just an accident because you won't excuse yourself. Because I want you to forget the past and face the future with a grin on your face. Ziki, you've always been happy and I want you to go on being that way. Don't destroy it, brother. Find yourself another woman. Go to the carnival tomorrow. Take your guitar with you. Join the dancers and sing with them. Look among the women and take one with large bosom. Go on living. Don't give up. The poets say life must be lived to the brim. Forget about your woman. They put her in the ground. They put her in the ground. Keep moving and don't stop at the roadblocks. Shove it. Break it and keep moving. Six, let's know Carol. Let's live and love and laugh together. Come, it's late. You are tired. The sea is calm. There is a carnival tomorrow. There is a funeral to attend. And a carnival to follow. There will be folk to sing and a girls to dance. Come, let's go. Joshua, don't stay too long. They put her in the ground. They put her in the ground. And her sister also said, If you ever meet a soul in the wilderness, tune to a music. Please don't pass by. It belongs to my brother. Did you hear that, mother? Did you hear that? You said they are just peasant and that nothing about them matters. But I tell you, mother, let me tell you that they had something you never had. Something precious. Over here, they call it simple mind. Do you remember the day I argued with you on the subject? You said that romancing about peasant life is a sheer stupidity. You even called me flippant. I cried and refused my dinner. I tried to explain to you what their life meant, but you wouldn't listen. You simply waved your hand and called me flippant. Now I know I wasn't flippant. I have seen hope and despair in its naked form. I have seen aspirations and disappointment in their eyes. You can see both a mile off. I bet you will never thought this possible. With you, mother. Now, I am going to find the third end. You said that the prince couldn't find it and that it was impossible. When I said I could find it, you called me a milk soap and refused me dinner. Now I am going to find it and you cannot stop me. I even have a cue. First there is a flame. It burns high and it burns low and turns into ashes. It's like your empire. It all ended up in ashes, just like the burning rope. Ashes, destruction, self-destruction. No, it can't be. Mother, it can't be. This is a lot of lavish paganism. Mother, why are you laughing at me? Don't laugh at me, mother. I am not afraid. I am not afraid. Temper, you see? 
That's a great misfortune. But it doesn't bother me. Hey, tell me, when are we starting off? As I said, he's very upset. So if you want to change your mind, I mean, about going fishing with us. I am not backing up simply because Big Brother Benko feels so. I'm only trying to be helpful. You see, this accident ruined his life, left him very sore and irritable. But we don't talk about it. He's not going to forget what you have done to him. He had only seven days to wait. Now you have spoiled it all for him. Just what are you talking about? I'm only saying forget all about it. Don't come to see with us. Your father doesn't object to wait. So why should Benko, who runs out of outfit? Smako does. But when we are in the middle of the ocean, he's not there. But the Benko give the orders. I know him. He will make you do anything for him. Are you trying to tell me something? I'm not making a good job of it. I'm afraid. I can't even express myself. I'm worse than a dot. You hear them all call me a fool all the time. I'm the dot of, of their family. They send me on errands and treat me like a mascot. You let them do that. You allow them. Oh yes, I do. So that I can sit back and laugh at them. <laughs> I despise them, you know? They are so loaded with stupidity. Take last night, for instance. So my cop sent me to go and look for the two of you. I returned and told you I couldn't find you. Did you see us? Of course, I did. But I didn't want to spoil anything for you two, especially at Duala. I decided to share a secret. They will believe whatever I tell them. Because the fool is not clever enough to fib. He can't fabricate. Oh no, he has no creation. And you enjoy it? Absolutely, I can't help it. I suppose we all have to find some way of existence, somehow or the other. Living under pretense is just one of them. That is a cheap way of living. That's the only way I know. My mother would have had you sick skin to the bone. She may come and do it right now. I'm not ashamed. You are lucky she is dead. I carry her marks with me wherever I go. Was she a sick woman? Is it like my mother? She's a very strong woman. I'll tell you about her. They call her Madame Imbele. You mean you are the son of Mele? And you came living with peasant and you want to go to sea and handle fish and stink like a pig? You the son of Mele? You want to do a thing like that? Yes. She, the whole village is going to come rushing here if they know who you are. They will kill you. They won't if you keep your mouth shut. Nobody knows except you and Sumako. He forbids me to tell you boys. But you have just told me why? Because from now on, we are going to share a secret, you and I. She, Benko is going to kill you if he finds out who you are. They say, Madame Umbella has something to do with this accident. It was a deliberate accident. She wanted men to attend on her. That's right. And she wanted them clean cut. She will be saved that way. Go away, this very minute. Joshua, I will get your things. No. Oh, well, I suppose it's no use going on. You probably take me for a fool. You won't listen to a friend if you saw one. It's just no use trying. It's just like taking snuff at sea. The winds blow it away, and you are left with the mate of seawater. Clever words to come out from a so-called fool, don't you think? Don't flatter me. Those words belong to Smako. He's very clever. Talk like a book. Even don't stop to think whether I understand or not. We simply go on and on, forgetting I'm just a peasant. Peasants are also human. And they can be intelligent. But your mother didn't think so. <laughs> Hi, Joshua. Hi. Atu, they're late. What about they're late? Don't stand there asking them questions. Aren't you going to open it for me? Are you asking me a favor? What on earth do you think I mean? At least you could say please. That's not too much to ask, Duella. Please, brother Atu. Of course, of course. Just waking up. Hello, Siki. See where the sun is. You sleepy head. Oh, let me be her. I couldn't go to bed till the small hours of this morning. Hello, Joshua. I didn't hear you get up. You were snoring like a pig, oh. sleeping far away. So I didn't want to disturb you. A good thing. Dwella, he kept me awake all night with his talk. You will think he is giving a lecture. I must say, I'm not feeling too bad early this morning. I'm going to the carnival. Anybody with me? Lord Ziki, what about the funeral? I have not forgotten that, but I am not missing the carnival for that big ocean. I am going to the carnival and I am going to find myself a woman, another woman with big bosom. Where is Atu? 
Uh, he has taken the things and the basket to the boat. Do you want to start today, like you said? Yes. Find them and Drella, please stay away from the boat. But surely, Ziggy, you don't. I know, I know. We all say you've got the curse and we blame you for everything. I know this is all a load of, what did you call it, Joshua? Harvest paganism. Yes, a whole load of that. But it is going to take an army of Joshua's to make a lot of people see it this way. But there is no such army. So we have to give it time. So you have been working on him too. I see. You are not doing badly at all. I have a mission to accomplish. You will come against some hindrance. My mother will stay behind me. I shall break all rules. You must not cheat though. The sea gets angry with such corporate. I never cheat. My mother forbids that. Even Sumako doesn't like it. Good. In that case, you can take my place today. I've got a funeral to attend. What about a carnival? Both. May I come with you? I have never been to either a funeral or a carnival in my life. Can I come? Folks will point their fingers at you. I won't mind. They do it all the time. I am used to it. And I'm going to be happy to live to be a very, very old goose. You are dreaming, dweller. Ha! Maybe I am. But I'm coming right with you to the funeral and the carnival. What do you say? Say! Ha! Alright, by me. That's my brother. <laughs> Your father thinks she's getting worse. Why do you call him Smako? That is his name. Everybody calls him Smako. It means the king of the sea monsters. Why are you ready? Why is Benko? In the house, I suppose. And why are you in such a rush? Relax, relax, brother. The sea is calm and the wind is good. Reforming in the boat. Hey, you are going to catch big fish, big trout. I am not coming today. I have got a funeral to attend. Now, if that isn't one big lie, mother is lying in the room and she isn't dead, not yet. You are just being lazy, that's all. It's a garden true. You know there is a carnival in town today, and you want to go and jump with that man of yours. That's why you are lying to me. Atu, she's dead. Who? Mother. My woman died last night. Snake bite, and that is no garden lie. It's true. Oh, I'm sorry and all that. You know, I can't make a speech, but I really am sorry. If you go, have a good cry and don't get yourself drunk. This is not the end of the world. Why the devil are you? Benko! Benko! What's the matter with you? Look where the sun has gotten to. Is that why you must shout? You have been bought all day, you know? You don't have to be insulted. Fool! You call me that again, I will show you some rat. Ha! <laughs> Listen to him. Well, well, well. So you recently been called that. This is so before. But not to worry. We are not going fishing today. We got Braziki here as a funeral to attend. Ah, I just took their things into the boats. You will have to bring them back. The two men can do the work of Terry. Joshua is standing in for Ziki. Oh no. I'm not having any beggar in the same boat with me. Now listen, sir. Now, brother Benko, you know it isn't right to say a thing like that to a stranger. He's going to stop me. My mother will be very cross. You better be careful, Benko. I know who his mother is. It isn't right to say things like that to him. You know what he has done to me? Now, it's not that what a bastard like him will do. I had only seven days to wait. I was going to regain what I lost. All of it. You never had a chance and you know of it. I had only seven days to wait. Atu will tell you that. Isn't that what the man said, Atu? He said nothing. I never even saw such a man because there wasn't one. I made it all up. You wanted something to hope for, to hold on to. I gave you one. That's a lie. Atu, I gave you money for the man. You brought me the stuff. You are lying, Atu. I'm telling the truth. I brought you the stuff, all right. But you don't know how this is. It's spring water. Call it with a growth leaf. And who told you you cannot have a woman with a piece left? See? <laughs> As for the money, right? I spent it on drinks. <laughs> Where do you people think I got the money from? Oh. It was such fun. It had to end sometime though. It couldn't go on forever. That wouldn't be fair on you. So when Joshua arrived, I found my chance to end it all up and make you see the truth. First up to it. Now, I'm glad it all worked up. You are not even angry with me. You are not even calling me a fool. I don't suppose you will be because I have proved I got some brains in my scar. Now, you are going to respect me. All of you, I work hard for it. I earn it and I'm going to enjoy it. Thanks to Joshua here. He set you all against me. I brought you life and confidence. You violated my sister. I brought her hope and womanhood. 
You violated the sea. I turn it into a museum. Fool. Shall I tell you who I am? Oh, Joshua, please don't. Have a big mouth. You, you brag like an empty barrel in Azim's air. I know what you are. You're just a freak running from the city. You are a coward dodging the truth. You boys want a fight? Is there no peace in this house for a soul to rest? I thought your boys has gone to the sea. We haven't, father. What is keeping you? What is going on? There is a little ag argument between Joshua and Ben. I remember I'll tell you much about Joshua. I told you to be fair with him. You don't know who he is. Now, you boys want to settle this the usual way by gun and dagger? Yes! Joshua, I don't mind. Good. I shall be with you in a minute. Oh, I don't like this, Benko. I don't like this. Let's not color the day black. Let's go to the carnival. The carnival is here. Ah, it's only the fish monkey. All dressed up to that. What do you want? We have come to take Joshua to the carnival. He's not going to the carnival. And what shall we have him there? You can't never have him. He belongs to Grella. Oh! So Marco made me a promise. My father never makes a promise. That's it. That's it, Marco. That's it, old You should, you guys should, you women should know your place. You are children of the sea. He turned the sea into a museum. Is he the son of Imele? <laughs> I'm not allowed to say. Tell me, tell me, tell me. Who can could you be? The son of Imele. If you don't want to see this, you better get out of my backyard. Get out! This would be your weapon. The knife is blank with disuse, but it has a poison tip. It is a war trophy. Shotgun is loaded and fires only once. It is also a war trophy. Now you will have to choose. Now, 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 now. Benko, don't lose your head. There must be fair play. You must draw lot first. So you put down the gun. There is only one bullet in it. So whoever chooses it mustn't waste it. Benko, what on earth are you doing with that thing? Don't point it at me. It must be loaded. It's loaded. I keep telling you. The combat of the gun and dagger? Who is fighting who? <laughs> Can't you guess? Benko and Joshua. Oh, you son of a monster. If there is anything I not so dear. See you, Benko. I could scratch the very eyes of your two skulls and feed them to the pigs. Now, Duella, there is no time for small tempers and flimsy ways. There is going to be a fair play. They will both choose from the straw chamber. Whoever chooses the longest straw will have the privilege of first choice at this weapon. Here's it. Pass it to them. Well, but, but why me? I'm not the cause of all this. You are the only woman in this house. Mother is in the room. <laughs> Your mother is no more. She is dead. Oh, Mana! Shut up, Atu! I will not shut up! Joshua, do you wish she chooses first? I don't mind. Mother is with me. I can't lose. Look at him. He is mad. He calls himself the son of Mbele. Mm. Joshua, you cheated. You promised never to tell them who you are. I had no option. He was on my neck and he was trying to be some kind of stubborn.
No. I told you, mother never fails me. She's always with me. Now, Joshua, go ahead. Choose one. Don't worry, Dweller. There will be a story, and the generation will call it Joshua and the New Flower. You boys can go to the seaside. I can't have this in my own backyard. There will be no witness. There will be no rules except what the mind imposes in the real. When it's all over, we shall come and collect the money. You could at least say goodbye to us. Why can't you shut up? I will not shut up. He could at least say goodbye to us. He knows he has no chance against Joshua. He has gotten his mother's power behind him. Whilst your mother is lying there dead, I will still say he owes his last word to this family. And who is my family? You, or you, or you, or you. You all join hands with him and dance against me. Whoever says blood is sicker than water must be a big clown. My family indeed. I spit on you. Go on, say it. Cast me. Why don't you say anything, huh? You are afraid. Don't be afraid. He has all his mother's power against me. Now, this sense of complacency is in a bad taste. What are you talking about? You wouldn't understand if I tried to explain. I'm here to find the bed. We've carried to fight. Shut up, Batu. Don't keep him waiting. That is not good manners. He's mad, I tell you. Joshua is stuck a very mad. Did he mix? He shot himself. I, I tell you, he's mad. No! Joshua! Joshua! How come he shot himself? Before I got there, he called out to me and said, Watch this, you coward. I'll prove I'm no freak. He put a gun to his head and fired. I knew he was mad. So he found out that obstinate little upstart. He broke all the rules. Did the waves wash him away? No, father. The sea is calm. Never mind. We are together. That is the important thing. It's a pity about Duella Du. She has taken so well to him. I guess she has to find herself another man who won't come searching for the third end. Father, has Joshua found the third end? There is an ugly face you can't see. It belongs to the god of darkness. There is a story hard to believe. It belongs to the mythology. It belongs to eternity. It is a living museum. Say, Father, you even sound like this one. Maybe I do. But there is no time for I don't. Go and bring his body. We have got a lot to do. So, 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 so. I will be damned. I could swear that woman was as dead as a doornail. She must be stronger than Madame Mbele herself. No, 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 no. All right, all right. I am coming. Oh, that woman. <laughs> Ha 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 